I had never heard of Turkmenistan before. And if I had, it just didn't ring any bells until I watched John Levi's video on Turkmenistan. And more specifically, it's capital city of Ashgabat. So, knowing what we know about Tartaria and free energy that they used in the old world, I am solely convinced this is going on to this day right here in Ashgabat Ashbat, or Turkmenistan in general. I mean, you can already tell from here. Look at the sacred geometry we see from way up high. We haven't even gotten down deep into it yet. First, I want to check this thing out because I haven't done that yet. Let's see what the picture pulls up. Wow, I never even noticed that thing. All right, let's keep going with the overhead view. And of course, it's got the water, you know, because the water is going to help project the frequencies. But I mean, look at it. It is awe inspiring. I spend hours and hours just looking at every every corner of this place. It's amazing. Alright, see we have right here a power plant. Alright. And this is right on the outskirts. And you see the road connecting it in kind of like it's just like a big computer board. Jacking it in to the con the generators conductors everything everything you will see it in a minute i mean it's all here so let's back out so we can start looking at what's going on here because they've got stuff that's been going on for a while so of course it is said that there's about 5 million people in Ashgabat. And here we got a statue of the president is what it says on Wikipedia. So out of the whole population, it says that 80% of the population works for the government. Which I believe that. It says that you cannot own any kind of car except white. I mean any color cars. Unless they're white. Only white cars. So they have old old buildings that have been up. Of course in the old world style of Tartaria. Everything is white marble. This city holds the Guinness Book of World Records. For the most white marble in the world. The, the most white marble buildings in the world. Here we have the state governor's office. And, and you see the sacred geometry everywhere. And look at these street lights. I'm going to show you all some clips of these street lights up close. And they're just like the Victorian style street lights you see from the Tartaria pictures. Everything's so symmetric and beautiful. I mean, look at this. Look at the glare coming off of the dome right here. You know, it's collecting the electromagnetic energy there. And who's to say it's not being sent off through these right here. Everywhere. All over this place. And they, and it's like a ghost city. There's hardly ever anybody out at night. Of course, they have a curfew. It's a very, very um, dictarian place to be, they say. But, uh... I haven't even gotten into the good stuff yet. I was just checking stuff out because I've been looking at this thing for well over eight hours. Not just today, but I mean, look at this. Does that not look like computer computer parts to you? Look at this. Let's check the picture of this thing out. This is not just art. This is technology made with fine materials that conduct, transmit, 
produce and emit electricity. So, none of the citizens have to pay for electricity, water, or gas. This is all provided for them. And they say that this place is the fourth, has the fourth largest gas, natural gas reserves in the world. But I don't think that's all they're reserving here. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. It's amazing. And then you see all the green roofs everywhere. I don't know what that thing is, but all of the building. Whoa, look at the holes. What are these? Wow. Man, this place just never ceases to amaze me. I'm going to show you that this place is using free energy. And it's just amazing to me that we haven't been shown this. I mean, it's just so clean, so beautiful. I mean, look at the amount of awe-inspiring beauty there is here. And you can see they have sacred geometry just carved into the land. And then they have these little trees planted. So I'm figuring 20 to 40 years from now, a lot of the stuff will be hidden. And so on the, on my, I'm on my phone now doing this, but on the Google map, I mean Google Earth Pro on my laptop, you can do the timeline feature and take it back. And a lot of this stuff isn't here, you know, 10 years ago or whatnot. It's just amazing to me how we live in a world what that we live in and we have no idea of things such as this unless we go out and find them ourselves. So let me show y'all some of the more amazing features that are here. Um, I get lost every time I come into this place because I just start traveling and, and finding different things. Here's the airport, which holds a Guinness Book of World Record for itself for having the largest falcon statue or or um, creation just so these are the wings them two white things that wrap around and if you look at it from the front let me take this off real quick let's see all right now let's check it out so that's a uh, a big falcon right there at the airport they say this airport is equipped to you know for our today's standards you know to hold vast amounts of people um but it only runs at about 10 percent all the time because there's not many people there so my theory is this place is being built for future generations once the next reset comes and a lot of us aren't here anymore and the next populating, if that's the word for it, is, you know, having to be done, they're going to take children from all over the world and put them in cities like this one, especially this one. And it's going to be an, a different way of life then. Look at this. Look at this. Just, oh man. I just, I just get so, so just mind blown every time I go looking in here. I see something new that is just jaw dropping to me. I mean, if you don't. If you don't think this is amazing, then you're just not alive inside. I don't know. I guess maybe you're just still stuck in the, you know, watching the Kardashians or whatever the hell they got these, you know, sleep people doing. 
this here though is just on a whole nother level of amazing all right let me get to moving so i can show people show y'all who haven't seen this if you have seen this then you know what i'm talking about man this is this is it this is where it's at this place this place is not being broadcast to the rest of the world because they don't want to show everybody what we could be living like. Look at this. Just wow. And of course, it looks like it's got copper on top. It's a, what is this thing? So this thing is maybe a, you know, a transmitter, you know, shooting the frequencies where they need to go. And of course, it's got the perfect symmetry. You know, it's got the sacred geometry everywhere you look. Everywhere, these massive, beautifully built buildings. I mean, look at all of this. There's just so much here. And I, I never noticed these. Is this... Is this some kind of, you know, side effect of, of the uh, electromagnetic energy? Who's to say? Look at look at the way it's like popping out the ground here. But they're doing something here. They've left these. Maybe these are to be built later. What is this? I don't know. But your guess is as good as good as mine. Is this a white marble fence capping this thing? I don't know. I don't know. But let's get back into this. Um. Yeah, there's just so much here that. Just look at the shapes. You see the golden ratio everywhere as well. And look at this. Just look at it. It's so amazing. Just wow. Look at, okay, this is what I was talking about. You see this geometry being carved into the land. And then they pour the concrete over the, so they've got it f pretty much finished right here they've poured all the concrete and then they've got their nodes you see these these nodes right here they're little towers and spires you know perfect measurements of where they need to be to make the machine operate at its highest capacity and I just get so awestruck with all of this because I have never in my life known that this kind of thing would be possible I mean I had an idea that things like this were possible but I didn't know it was being done and so of course you know our media if you look up the president of Turkmenistan they tell you he's a a very cruel very arrogant dictator who's very you know vain he puts statues of himself everywhere and the people have to carry pictures of him when they're out in public and he starves his citizens and you know blah 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 they tell us what they want us to hear is what is what that boils down to in my opinion maybe he is some kind of crazy dictator but look what he's doing with this place. If it's even him doing it. He's probably just the face they want us to see. You know. But look. So I'm, I'm going to turn the. Uh, the borders, labels, places, and roads back on. And maybe the. Yeah. Let's look at a picture of this. <clears throat> okay. They say that's the president on a horse. It, I don't know if that's brass or copper or what. 
but it's in the middle of that Merkaba and then it's just got you know everything's connected here everything's and, and connected look at this this is so amazing let's check out a picture ah it's not giving me the picture oh well I've got plenty of pictures that I will add to this when I'm finished you see I never even noticed these over here yet there's just so much to it I haven't been getting sleep uh, the past few days because I'm so struck by this amazing place and let's move on over here look at this piece <laughs> and check that thing out and so that they they sh it should be popping up pictures let's see uh, yeah okay let's see if it'll give us a picture here okay there's a picture of it wow look at that It's not the same place. That is Monument of Neutrality. Yeah, that is not just a monument. That is technology. So is this thing right here. I mean, they don't, this isn't just built for looks because I don't think too many people are coming to Google Earth and looking at this place the way I am. I mean, I'm sure there's more than just me doing that. Oh, look, they got these arrows. So it shows you which way to go around the roundabout. Probably because if you go the other way, it'll distract the energy flow. That's my opinion. <laughs> but I don't think I'm wrong about this. I do not think I'm wrong about this. It's just crazy to me. Crazy how we don't know these things. I would think that people all over the place would be talking about this place, saying, why can't we do this here? And just have, even if it's not producing energy, why don't we have beauty like this in our world? Okay, we get into some of the more regular looking it's not even regular looking, I wouldn't say, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is, okay, this, this is, I don't know what I was going to say, but look at this. You see the perfect, like the horseshoe magnet shape, one on top of the other right there. Now, of course, we're going to find something that correlates with that, with that soon. So I think I'm outside of this, the capital now because I'm not, I'm not back where I was, but I've looked through all of this and it's, you still have the connectors right here. See, see the archway you, you can even, oh, wow. Look, they got it black. They got it blacked out. Why can't we look at that? But do you see the energy coming off of that? Do you see that? And they have a, a, a black box on it for whatever reason. They don't want us to see what's going on. Wow, I've never seen that before. I've never had something blacked out on me before. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Not awesome that they're blocking me from us from seeing it but just awesome that it's there and it's just more proof more proof that that this is what it is man that this is what it is all right let's go over here wow just look at it look at the amazing things they have done in Turkmenistan just Wow, man, that's all I can say anymore about this place. 
because it it blows my mind. That's I'm at a loss for words most of the time. Just amazing. From every part of this place. I gotta go back to that thing and, t and take a screenshot of it because if something happens to this video, the energy was shooting off of that. Y'all saw that, right? Where was that? Oh no. It was in the middle of the road somewhere. I'll find it. Was it right there? Let's see. Nope, that's a different one. But it's close to this one. So let's just follow the, bro the road. I think I'm going the wrong way, but oh well. I know there's going to be more of those. Look at all the white cars, too. Maybe something about, you know, other colored vehicles on this road. It stops this energy vortex flow thing. Look at that thing. Wow. I'm going to go back this way and try to find where they're blocking us from seeing what we need to see. The proof is in the pudding. There it is. Look at that. Why can I not see what is going on right there? I got to screenshot this. Yeah. That is fire coming off of there is what it looks like. That's what it is. I mean, you tell me. Is that not weird that they will not let me? See that? I'm gonna upload that to my photos and we'll get back to to our our tour here. I'm your tour guide and we are going to tour and visit through old world. The the we're gonna see the future from the past, my friends. Look at that one. So so this one Is shooting the energy that away. Look, it's pointing straight over here. I bet that we find more of those little things that are blocking us from seeing it. But look at them. Amazing. Just wow, man. That's all I can say right now. Check out all the fountains and look at this thing with the arches and it's all for energy. Free energy. See, it's keeping the frequency moving right along. You see these things right here? They look like kind of like power lines to me, but I can't get a, a good look. Um, let's see if I can just... Better view no, that's not better. Anyways. Look, there's another one. And the fountains, of course. Oh, that's water spires. Of course the water is necessary in all this. Of course the water is necessary. It's necessary for everything here. Because without it we wouldn't be here looking at this amazing Technology, architecture, antiquitech. It is out of this world. Look, there's another one right there. Look at that. Look at that. There it is, people. They didn't block that one out, which, I mean, I don't know why they blocked the other one out because, I mean, well, they got a blur on this one, don't they? They're not letting that come through for whatever reason. But look at that. I got on here right when the energy was at the peaks. Wow. Wow. I am so excited to be seeing this. You know, we all knew, we all know that something's coming, something big to change what we know of reality is on its way. Could it be that what is coming? Okay, I got to stop this recording.